This is a lesson on finding a fraction of a set. So you learned, or you explored fractions of a set in the last lesson, and now you're going to learn how to find um, a fraction of a set in this lesson. And it sounds, it's going to sound more compl complicated than it is, and I've broken it down into easy steps up here. So hopefully that will curb some of the um, misunderstanding that you may have. So here's the steps and we'll go through them after so if they don't make sense at this moment don't worry um, they'll be handy for you after if not now. so um, first of all a fraction of a set so that's like saying um, down here well here's the example if we want to find what oh it's gonna work yeah one-third of six six and it could be six whatever one-third of six cats it could be but so you want to know what one-third of six of the number six is. So in order to do that, you need to divide the set into equal groups based on the number in the denominator. So this is where you need to have your fraction language down pat because the denominator is the bottom number. So that's three. That means we need three equal groups. Next, what we do is circle the number of groups given by the numerator. So the number here is 1. And then we count the number of items circled. Duh. There's D there. Okay, so let's look at the example now. So there's 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 counters. So we can find 1 third of the set by, and here's sort of what I just said. So div by dividing this set into three equal groups, that's the number in the denominator, and then counting the number of counters in one group, the number in the numerator. So here it is. We've got six counters. They're into three equal groups, and we've circled one group because that is the number right here. Okay, and so that means that one-third of six is how many are circled? Two. 2 is. So it's basically asking what's 6 divided by 3 in this case. You can't do that always though because sometimes this is going to be a 2 here. 2 out of 2 thirds of 6. And if it was 2 thirds of 6, if I wanted to find 2 thirds of 6, we still divide into equal groups but now we have 2 equal groups circled. So that means that we have 4. Two-thirds of six is four. Okay? Um, we're going to continue to use counters to help us figure this out. So don't feel like, okay, well, I have to figure this out in my head now. No. What we're doing is using counters to help us find the answer. We can also find three-thirds of six. And that would have all of the groups circled so three-thirds of six is equal to six. That's all of the six. Okay, so that is the concept. So you divide the number, so in this case it was six, into three equal groups, and then circle one of the groups. Okay, so this is um, the practice questions. So if you still have no clue what I meant, then please watch uh, me do practice number one, and then you'll try number two on your own. If you think that you've got it, um, please pause the video right now to do number one and number two. Okay, so um, if you're watching now, that means that either you answered number one or you, you have no clue how to answer number one. So let me show you how to do it. Um, we need to find three-fifths of ten. So that means I need a total of 10 counters, and I need 5 groups total. Okay, so 5 groups. So I'm going to put a counter in each um, imaginary group. I'm just imagining the groups are like this. Okay, so there's 5 groups, and I put 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 counters. 5 is not 10, so we need to put more counters. So this is 6, and I keep adding 1 at a time to each group until I get to 10. 7, 8, 9, 10. 
So I reached 10 and I have five groups. That means that I'm ready for the last step of circling three of the groups. So here's one group, two groups, three groups. Now all I have to do is count the number of counters that are that are circled. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. So this equals six. Three fifths of ten equals six. Okay. <clears throat> um now the next one, before you do it, if you have not done number two already, please pause the video, try it, and then play once you've uh, found the answer. Um, and those of you who are done, continue to watch. So it says find two-thirds of 12. So I need a total of 12 counters. I need to have three groups, and I need to circle two of those groups. So 12 counters in three groups. So I'll put one counter in each imaginary group. One, two, three. There's my three groups, but I need to have 12 counters total. So I'm going to keep adding one counter per group until I get to 12. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh. Not, a, not there, hey? Um, 10, 11, 12. Oh, there's 12. I've put 12 counters and I have three groups. So now what I need to do is circle how many groups? Two of the groups. So here's one group and here is the other group. Now I count how many are in each group. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 2 thirds of 12 is equal to 8. Okay, um, if you are confident in this lesson, then please go to the assignment. It's page 184, numbers 1 to 5. And you're going to be doing this same um, thing that we were doing in our example for, for each question. Um, if you're still not sure, then I'll do a couple more examples down below here. Okay, so um, let us find one half of, let's go eight. So if I want to find one half of eight, I need to have two groups with eight counters total, and I will circle one of those groups. So first, <clears throat> let's put a counter in each of the two groups to set our groups up. So that's two counters total and two groups, but we need eight counters total in two groups. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight counters in two groups, and I need to circle one group. That means that one half of eight is four. Okay, let's do one more example. Let's do uh, three eighths of 16. Okay, so three eighths of 16. That means that I need eight groups, eight groups. So let's put a counter in each group to get us started. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight groups, but I need 16 counters. So I need to keep adding until I get to 16. So here's nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Okay, so I've got to 16 counters. I've got eight groups. Now I need to circle three of the groups. One, two, three. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six counters. 
um, circled. So that means that 3 eighths of 16 is equal to 6. All right, so that should be enough um, examples for you to understand. So please do this assignment now.